this strip off. Please. 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 That's all that's in here. Mm. <laughs> all right, so first things first. While you're watching me unbox these babies, I need to say something. Why is there no one on YouTube right now telling Android people how these things work? It is so frustrating. So I'll explain. I use an S23 Ultra, which is what I'm using to record this right now, right? And PC, right? I don't believe in like MacBooks and all that kind of nonsense, right? <laughs> anyway, no one said to me anywhere, and I searched this, it was like three days. For three days, I searched for the answer, and I finally found it on a Reddit post. I have no business being on Reddit. I found the answer on Reddit. I found the answer on Reddit. I found the answer. Anyway, no one mentions to you that when you buy these things, right? First off, these are the Air 2s. Just to clarify, these are the Air 2s. I got them before the sale dates in America because I got them from China. So in China, they were already, they, they were already out before the US date, so I got them from China. I'm gonna tell you what I think about these, but first let me get these let, let me get this irritation out of my mind, right? So when you plug these babies, oh, okay, hold on. There is no software for PC. Nebula does not exist on PC. Nebula only exists on Mac. So if you're buying these to use them on your laptop, on your PC, wait until the software comes out and then you can get them. I got them because number one, it's like a novelty. And number two, they could work on Android, they could also work, say for example, if you had a tablet, right? Which is, most of you know this already. That's not the point. The point is, when you plug these things into your phone, I have a Samsung S23 Ultra, Samsung. When you plug these in, DeX automatically pops up. And if DeX pops up, Nebula, the software, is not gonna work. AR Space, casting, all of that stuff, it's not going to work. I, for a long time, did not understand this. Three days, guys, three days I spent trying to figure out why would they sell these? Why would, they, why, why would the Nebula app have AR space? But AR space doesn't work, like why? Why, why, why are these not working, essentially, when connected to my phone? And I finally found it. It had nothing to do with recalibrating. It had nothing to do with 60 hertz, 72 hertz. It had nothing to do with any of that shit. The reason why these weren't working was because of DEX. When you plug these into your phone, DEX stops them from working. So for anyone out there with an Android, when you're plugging these babies in, disable DEX. And what I mean by disable is there's a feature when you go into DEX that says, I'm paraphrasing, but there's a feature that says open DEX automatically. Do not open DEX automatically. If you open DEX automatically, these are not gonna work, right? Nowhere on the internet, I have searched. First off, the internet, absolute trash. 
Guys that are reviewing these are reviewing the ads. These are Air 2s. No one's reviewing the Air 2s. And when they are reviewing the Air 2s, it's generic. Oh, we love these because of blah, 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 blah. Yo, I want to talk about functionality, right? These things are amazing. However, if you have an Android, when you plug these in, make sure that DeX is not set to automatically work once they're plugged in. Go into your DeX properties, let the thing, you know, swipe it this way so that DeX doesn't open when you open these. And then you'll be able to have the AR space nebula will be able to function properly, which goes on to my next point. These things are amazing. And that's pretty much what everyone And that's pretty much what the general consensus around the internet is, is that these things are bloody amazing. I'm not like into tech or anything like that, but as a remote worker, someone that works remotely, if you're telling me I don't have to carry an extra monitor, I can just carry these things with me. I'm carrying them with me. These things are phenomenal, phenomenal. And I can't wait for the PC software to come out because I've contacted them, by the way, I'll put up a screenshot. They've told me that they're in the second phase of testing. So we're looking at uh, end of November. Hopefully we get the software for PC. These babies are amazing. I envy anyone who uses a Mac because if you're using a Mac and you've got these, oh man, I envy you so much. I've never worn anything like this, so I don't have anything to compare them to. All I can say is that watching Netflix on these, super crisp. YouTube, super crisp. I don't particularly care about the sound. I didn't buy these for the sound. But yes, because of the way that they're designed, when you're watching these, say like you're lying in bed and you don't have your headphones on, when you're, when you're using these, the quality of the sound is amazing. And they sound great. Um, comfort, yes, they're comfortable. You guys already know. If you go on the internet, there's a whole bunch of people telling you how amazing these are. You can change these babies over here. Uh, for the frames and yes if you wear glasses like me I wear glasses you can clip them here with the other bit which I don't have but you can clip them here and um, yeah I chose the black frame I could have gotten the red frame but I, I hate the color red if there was a blue frame I would have taken the blue frame and the reason why I didn't take the white frame is because I don't want to look like it yeah but other than that the brightness is something I need to talk about as well as someone who wears glasses, the brightness is absolutely amazing on these things. Um, again, I don't really have an Oculus or anything or a Quest or anything else to compare them to. I can only talk about what they do for me from my perspective. And it's a W. It's an absolute W. I cannot wait uh, for the software on PC to come out because this is what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? As someone that uses multiple screens for work, this is what I'm talking about. I haven't even gained in these yet, but trust man, when the software comes out and I can game with these, I'm never leaving the house, bro. I am never leaving the house. And shouts out, man, because Abella Danger looks amazing through these glasses. Sky Bree looks amazing through these glasses. Jazlyn, Jazlyn Ray looks amazing through these glasses. Sarah Banks looks amazing through these glasses. Guys, I mean, what I would say is, a lot of people are talking about how shaky they are. They've not been shaky to me. But again, like I've said, perhaps when you connect them to something a little bit more powerful, as, as opposed to a phone, maybe they start to get shaky. But for me, they're not shaky at all. Uh, they're actually, man, these things are amazing, man. These things are, an AR space is absolutely amazing you can do so much you can do so much with this if you're a multitasker you can do so much with these um, I can't wait for the PC software to come out if you guys want to wait for the PC software to come out go ahead and wait I couldn't wait I just had to have these but if you want to wait for the PC software to come out first go ahead and wait and then check out the reviews up if anyone is interested when the software comes out I will do another take on these babies using the software because I definitely multitask. I have three screens at work, so um, we'll, be, we'll be putting these things to use. Uh, but yeah, other than that, guys, truly amazing. Truly, truly amazing. I hope the first bit of this has helped someone out there. 
someone who's suffering like the way I, like the way I suffered with bloody Dex. Yeah, listen. Go to Dex and then uh, unpick. Unpick is that a word? Unpick the option. Deselect the option to have Dex start up whenever you plug them in. Take that out because Nebula will not start unless Dex has stopped. They don't tell you this. They don't tell you this. I hope this helps someone. We out.